Hi guys, how are all of you doing? I hope all of you are doing well and have found your own little routines in this uh, interesting time that we are going through. So I'm here, I'm going to share uh, today flow number two of my fluid flexibility course. So what is fluid flexibility? Fluid flexibility is a mixture of yoga and movement which is great for body conditioning as well as increasing your level of flexibility but keeping movement in it so it becomes a lot more breathable, a lot more easier, a lot more appealing at the same time. It's going to be a part of my aerial flow or aerial hammock uh, teacher training course. It's going to be one part of the course. So if you're a dancer, it will help. If you're an aerialist, it will really help. If you're a yogi, it will really help. And I look forward to flowing with you. Let's get started. All right, guys, let's uh, start with the breakdown of the fluid flexibility flow number two. So for that, you want to start the hip width apart. Make sure the toes are really spread out, your feet are pressing inward, kneecap pulled up. Inner thighs are almost slightly rotating towards each other, abdomen tucked in, roll the shoulders back, keep the chest alive. Yeah. So now I'm going to inhale, cross my arms in front of my chest, come to, a, come to a position where I bend both my knees and then contract, exhale. I let the air out and then I inhale, come up and exhale again, flex with my hands. And keep the chin tucked in, expand only the chest. One more time. Interlace the fingers from front of the chest. Try to press the air down and then gather the air to round your abdomen. And then push the palms back to lift the ribs up and expand your chest and come back. From here, you bring your arms up next to your ears as you inhale. I go to my profile so you can see me better. Feet still hip width apart. I'm going to breathe in as I breathe out two times flat backs. Going down, two, three, four. Stay six, seven, eight. Coming up, two, three, four. And down, six, seven, eight. In this, don't let this happen. Or don't let this happen. Uh, even if you're here, but you're in a flat back, that is better than being here with a curved spine. You want the chest to be towards the mat, yeah? And then we're gonna come up, press the air down. I'm gonna inhale one more time. Breathe in. As you breathe in, take your right leg up, shift your weight to your left leg and bring your arms up next to your ears. You're preparing for warrior three. So I inhale to prepare. Exhale, coming into warrior three. You want your finger to your feet, heel, being one straight line. Then inhale, exhale, press down. Then inhale one more time. Bring your weight onto your right leg. Flex the left foot really well. Breathe in and as you breathe out, come into warrior three. Hold, 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 and then come back with control. Then imagine I am brushing the dust off my thigh. What am I doing? I'm brushing the dust off my thigh. I brush the dust off my thigh to open the leg and bring my entire weight onto my right leg, yeah? Here, if this position is very hard, you can lift your heel off as well, yeah? So I will keep it down, press down. Now from here, you want to flex that foot, bring your left hand onto your right foot and right arm next to your ears. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, you want to open your chest towards the sky. Don't think of the aim being this. Think of the aim being this. Opening the chest more and more. And then if you can grab the toe, well and good. I am still making sure that my right knee is pressing outwards. It is not collapsing, yeah? Keep breathing well as you're there. You're doing really well. From here, I bring my right arm and push the right knee back again. I am pushing this to open this muscle more and more. Bring the left arm next to your ears. Inhale, exhale, stretch. Don't let this happen, don't let this happen. Keep lengthening more and more. From here I come to center, coming into a wide-legged second position almost, and weight onto my left side, yeah? Now, when I'm on the left side again, knee is not collapsing, knee is pushing outwards. I bring my right arm across, grab the ankle, left arm next to the ears. Inhale, exhale, I drop towards the side. Keep breathing well as you are here, keep breathing well. Then inhale to come up. With your left hand, press the left thigh back and right arm next to your ears. You want to open the chest more and more towards the sky. And you're going to slowly come back to second position again. Coming up now completely parallel, arms next to the ears. Breathe in, breathe out, drop down. Nice. Now from here, I inhale, I want to, you want to arch that back, yeah? So I inhale, I lift my head up and I brush the arms 
and exhale, come back. Inhale, head up, brush the mat. Exhale, come back. One more time. Inhale, brush the mat, and exhale. Lovely work, everyone. And then stay here for a few breaths. Breathe into those hamstrings. Really breathe into the back of the knees, back of the thighs. Now from there, you're going to slowly reduce the gap between the legs, yeah? Reduce the gap between the legs so it's more targeted on your hamstrings. I bend both my knees. Inhale. Take your right hand inside and around. Take your left hand inside and around. Breathe in. And breathe out without adjusting your hands. Try to stretch your hips towards the sky. This is a very deep stretch. If you have any back issues, try to avoid this one. Stay here for a few breaths. Then I bend both my knees. I place one palm down, other palm down to come into Tidibhasana, the balancing position. You want to bring your thighs to rest on the back of your arms and your hips down towards the floor. Yeah? From there, keeping that resistance between the thigh and the arm, I slowly lift both the legs up. And then abdomen tucked in to come back. Yeah, from here I will come into a tripod. Adjust yourself a little bit so you're still on the mat. I bring my hands again, very important, in tripod. Wrist to elbow has to be one straight line. You can try tripod against the wall first before you feel, if you feel you're uh, not confident of this one. I place my head down on the mat. Yeah, from here. If you feel that this is too difficult, place two blocks under your feet to elevate you, yeah? Again, now from here, abdomen tucks in to lift the legs open. And going all the way up into tripod. Then slowly one leg down, other leg down. You're going to walk back, bring the weight into the back of the heels, rolling up. Stomach, chest, head. Take one step, other step. Arms out as you inhale, then exhale, contract your belly, lift the knee up. Inhale, release, exhale. Inhale, and then exhale. Now this time, this knee is right now bent, this is bent. I stretch the bottom leg and really pull the left thigh closest towards my chest, yeah? Keep breathing well as you are there. Very important, chest is kissing your thigh. From there, both hands under your heels, inhale. And exhale, I stretch the leg. If this is hard for you, you can do it with the support of a belt as well in the beginning. And then slowly I come all the way to the side. All the way to the side as I am here. Keep breathing everyone, keep breathing. From here we take the left hand inside if possible. And try with your right hand to bring the leg closest you can. From there I let the leg go, try to balance. My right arm helps the body to be upright. Otherwise, I might fall towards the right side. Grab hold of the left foot. Then with your right hand, grab hold as well to come into Natradasana. We're going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, grab hold. Then lengthen the base leg and hug your thigh towards your chest. Keep breathing well as you are there. Then interlace both the fingers or grab hold of the feet from under the foot. Inhale and as you exhale, extend the leg wherever you can. Then slowly bring it all the way side. Wherever you can is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Wherever your flexibility permits. Then lengthen the opposite arm and try to grab hold of the foot. Bottom leg is still very strong. Take your hand inside and around. Balance here. Then you will let the hand go. Let the foot go. Your left arm is still reaching up. Helping you to keep the body up. Helping you to keep the body up. And then grab hold of, both the, of the feet with both the hands. And release. From there, we're going to come into a chair. One shot. Slide back down, sit down. We're going to take a slight bounce to come up into a balancing pose, almost like a boat pose. From here, four times we're going to do a little bit of ab, ab work. Inhale, don't let the head touch the ground. Exhale, come up. 
Inhale, go down. Exhale, come up. Inhale, go down. Exhale, come up. Inhale, go down. Exhale, come up. Now, interlace your fingers around. Either grab the outside of your elbows or your forearms or your wrists, depending on how you're feeling. Then really try to press your chest towards your thighs again. Yeah, Find balance here. Keep your gaze fixed on an unmoving object and keep breathing well. Then inhale. As you exhale, try to lift the legs up. If you can, grab your ankles and try to pull yourself in. Then coming down, you will open your legs in an Upavishta Kona Asana. Push the hips forward and then come into a cobra. Watch that again. If that is too hard for you, you can just, from here you are here, bend your knees and come into a... Now from there, from the Shashank Asana, you try to come out your elbows, yeah? To try to keep the palms and fingers really, really active. I push into a mountain. Few times just to warm up the shoulders. Take the weight forward, back. Forward, back, forward and stay here. Now really press the shoulders away. Then start working forward with your toes. Create a vacuum in your belly. Lift one leg. Come back down into a half bridge pose. Relax down. Hug your knees to your chest and release. Good job guys. Let's try the entire flow without a break, trying the entire thing together. Let's give it a shot.
if you have liked the video if you have enjoyed what you have learned please 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 subscribe and don't forget to share with all your yogi friends or all your friends who want to get more flexible thank you so much for your time